সুপ্র দর্শক আপনা দেখছে নেই জনপদে আমাদের সাথে থাকবার জন্য অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ আমরা কথা বলছি ডান্সার এবং কোরিওগ্রাফার আকরাম খানের সাথে এবং তার এই অলিম্পিক ওপেনিং সেরেমনি 2012 এ পারফর্ম করবার ব্যাপারে চেষ্টা করছি জানার জন্য খুব একটা বেশি জানতে পারছি না বিকজ হি ইজ নট अलाउड টু টক अबाउट মাচ अबाउट দিস বাট আমরা তারপরেও চেষ্টা করে যাব শুধুমাত্র তাই না আমরা আকরাম খানের কবে থেকে শুরু করলেন কি কি প্রোডাকশন করেছেন এগুলো নিয়ে কথা বলবো তার আগে গত বছর জাপানে যে সুনামি হয়েছিল তার উপর একটি চ্যারিটি শো হয় সেখানে আকরাম খানের একটি পারফরম্যান্স ছিল চলুন সেই ভিডিওটি চট করে দেখে আসি তারপর আমরা আবার আমাদের মূল আলোচনায় চলে যাব
Wow, brilliant. After the moto, I knew the Xilamo TV the Akrome performance. Brilliant. Um, you have that fluidity um, in your body. Monohai is actor Torungo, you know, Torungo Torung is electric kind of yeah. wave. It feels like that. Oh, I used to electrocute myself a lot <laughs> when I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> I used to stick my finger in the, in the socket. Um, <clears throat> but no, but you know, this uh, sense of um, quality of movement. Um, I was hugely inspired by two, two, two athletes. Mm -hmm. I would call them artists. One of them was um, Muhammad Ali, yeah. and the other one was Bruce Lee. As a child, I was fascinated by both of them and inspired by them because wow. Bruce Lee spoke about water and water being so important in, in, in all our lives, but also the fact that um, uh, water, what he was interested in was about form mm. and how water can transform. Um, in the sense that it can it can change Take its any, shape. any shape of any container you mm -hmm. put it in, mm -hmm. and yet water is so powerful because it's very difficult to separate. And so um, there was something about form and formlessness which I have always been inspired, and that was really Bruce Lee that that yeah. kind of triggered that kind of philosophy into yeah into my. Because way it's of so kind of it's a departure from uh, from Kathak. The <coughs> do yeah. you think yeah? Well, it's it's an it's another way of thinking. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's. Um, it's, uh, you know, I'm born and brought up here. Mm. So Kathak was something that my mum pushed me into um, because I was so kind of, I told you earlier, a, um, uncontrollable, mm. very hyperactive. But I wanted to share a quick little story. Please do. Because Please do you know do. Ken Robinson? Have you heard of Ken Robinson? Yes. So he, about, he, he, he talks a lot on TED Talk about education. Yes. So he, he said a beautiful thing that resonated with me. And he was saying there was a girl who... Um, couldn't focus and she had no sense of <coughs> real attention. Mm -hmm. So there was one particular class that her teacher noticed her and said, um, wow, she's really focused. Mm -hmm. So she went up to the girl and said, what, what are you doing? And it was an art, art class. Yeah. And the girl looked up at her and said, I'm drawing God. Wow. I'm drawing God. Yeah. And then the teacher thought and said, um, thought back at the time. Okay, listen, um, you know, um, nobody, doesn't, nobody knows what God looks like. Yes. And she said, um, <coughs> oh, they will soon. <laughs> <laughs> and I love That's this. brilliant. <laughs> because um, this kind of sense of imagination, mm. and no, more importantly, there was no limits in her sense of imagination. I feel as adults, we are, we are educated out of creativity. Mm. As children, we are extremely creative because anything is possible. Yes. The possibilities are limitless. And open, actually. And open. Yeah. And as adults, the, we are educated as a civilization to lose that, mm -hmm. in a sense, and we're educated out of it. Mm. And so I remember my childhood being very much like that. And if it wasn't for my mother, and if it wasn't for Kathak, and also Michael Jackson, because he was a big inspiration yes. in my life, but um, really my parents were, were greatly, uh, th they kept on persisting. So as I said, when you asked me about Akram Khan, blah, 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 how did he arrive? For me, it's, it's by other people, mm. by default. It's like a river. Yeah. Um, you know, somebody <coughs> somebody breaks this part of the river or destroys the bank here, and then suddenly the river is diverted. Yes. And so I, I was very lucky to have the right kind of people around me to to arrive where I am. Um, even university was because I tried to run away from my um, <laughs> parents yes. and the community because they wanted me to be either a doctor or or an accountant or a lawyer. And the I, normal thing mm, to do, I guess. And, yeah. yeah. And I, I said. Um, it's not who I am, mm. and and it's not my language. It's not what I speak, and it was my own way of um, defiance of, uh, you know, f you know. Being I remember, a rebel. Yeah, my mother speaking about fighting mm. for Bangladesh, because she fought for the language of Bangla. Mm -hmm. So my language was the language of movement. That's what I fought for, and <laughs> so I ran away to university, and but the right kind of university, and that mm. was the Montford University. Mm. I say right kind because that's where there was a dance course that I was very attracted to. Mm. Leicester, um, in Leicester, in Cubs. 